role. I really get angry when people say, oh, she's tough, she's a bitch. Well, when a man's tough, people don't say, oh, he's tough, he's a bastard. He's just tough. So women can be tough and not be a bitch. They can be tough and they can be charming and they can be feminine and they can be sensitive, but they can be out there and stand their man. And I feel that has been missing in films. Most of the movie roles we see you in, do you have to train for this to be tough physically? I got very serious about working out when I heard that I was going to go up against Lou Ferrigno. I mean, he's a hunk and a chunk of a man. <laughs> Isn't there a danger in all of these roles you're playing to be known as the queen of the B-movies? Those are the kind of roles that my fans want to see me in, and I owe that to them. Danning is serious about becoming a believable movie superheroine. In Chained Heat, I just do street fighting, which is just a matter of, um, I do aerobics, so if you have a little dancing background, and I used to do modern jazz, then um, fighting is like a dance. You have to choreograph everything. Sybil trains for her movie roles like a fighter. I do my own stunts, ride a horse, do my own sword fighting. Oh, boy. There's another side of Sybil Danning posing for Playboy and revealing much more inside dozens of foreign magazines. I've received letters from women saying, how can you represent a strong woman? And on the other hand, you take your clothes off. Well, my answer is, that is part of being a woman. You can be intelligent and you can be tough and you can master life and you can still be proud of your body just like you are of anything else.